hello everyone now we are going to solve one problem uh, on the topic of scales so we will see uh, the statement it is given that draw a scale when one kilometer is represented by 2.5 centimeter and long enough to measure up to 6 meter then show a distance of 2.7 kilometer 3.9 kilometer and 4 kilometer 5 hectometer now in this question it is not mentioned that whether we have to draw the plane scale or diagonal scale so how to check you have to check the value which we have to show so we have to show the value 2.7 3.9 and 4 kilometer 5 hectometer in all these three values there are two units only so when we have to show two units we have to draw the plane scale so what are the steps to solve all the problems now step number one in step number one we will calculate the rf so what is rf rf stands for representative factor and this is equals to size on drawing upon actual size so whatever the size we have to draw we have to take the ratio of size on drawing upon actual size it may be the length over length area over area or volume over volume now it is given in the question draw scale when one kilometer is represented by 2.5 so it means from this statement we can say this value this is the size on drawing and this is the actual size so what will be rf then it will be 2.5 centimeter divided by 1 kilometer now we will simplify this now we will change the units so this is 25 we will take 10 down and then 1 kilometer convert this kilometer into centimeter so that above and below both should be centimeters so this will be now 1000 meters into 100 centimeter so when you cancel out you are getting the value that is 1 upon 40,000 so the RF is 1 by 40,000 so we always convert the RF into this form 1 by something now the step 2 in step 2 we will find out the maximum distance to be measured now what is this value so in some time it is it is given in the question in this format like long enough to measure up to 6 so this is the maximum value which we can measure with this scale so if it is not given in this form what to do in that case the check the values which we have to show like here 2.7 3.9 4 kilometer 5 hectometer take the biggest value and round up means if i round up it it will be 5 kilometers so maximum distance to measure will become 5 it is already given here 6 km so we will go for 6 km otherwise we will round up if, if this is not given so maximum value to measure is directly given 6 km now the step 3 step 3 is there what is that that is the LOS LOS stands for length of scale now it is actually the length of scale this is the RF into maximum distance to be measured means whatever we get the value in first step and in second step we multiply them so rf is 1 by 40,000 into maximum distance what is that 6 kilometers so this is 6 into 1000 now it will become meters into 100 now this is centimeters so always try to convert LOS into centimeters because we draw the scale in centimeters so now we will make calculations 4 4 now this is 15 so we get the LOS that is equal to 15 centimeter now what to do after this we have to draw a line that is equal to 15 centimeter length always draw the line first which is equal to LOS and then make the number of division this number of division on the same LOS means in this question I will draw a line of 15 centimeter and of that 15 centimeter I will make the six parts whatever the maximum distance is there take that number of parts so let's see so i have drawn a, a straight line of 15 centimeter length now we have to divide this 15 centimeter length into six number of parts as i have told you that is equal to maximum distance to be measured so what to do in that case so let's say this is the point a now if i have to divide 15 centimeter line into six parts that will be 2.5 each so what i'll do i'll make the same 
uh, put the scale here and make the same 2.5 first second third fourth fifth and then sixth so I have divided the six parts 15 centimeter line now always take this point as a and then this one as zero what is the reason behind that I'll tell you in the next step so start from a take this point as zero then do the numbering in the same letter format you know how to write numerals right so this is the main division now what I have done I have taken the main division main division was kilometers so this is the kilometer value right now what we do after this from every division you have to raise a perpendicular of 2 cm if you are using the grid sheet then it will be very easy to draw the perpendiculars from every bigger division you have to raise a perpendicular of 2 cm then you have to close the rectangle so we have prepared a rectangle like this now after that what to do you have to make a half of this means after one centimeter you have to draw one more line at the mid of this rectangle so that is why I have taken one centimeter here one centimeter when I will join this we will have exactly two divisions of the height that is one centimeter above and below right now this is the bigger unit that is kilometer now we have to move for the uh, smaller unit that is hectometer so one kilometer each division is representing one kilometer total is 6 divisions so that is why it is having maximum distance to measure 6 kilometers now on this we have to show the hectometers so we know that uh, 10 hectometers equal to 1 kilometer so we will divide a to 0 into 10 number of parts how we can do that if you are able to make the 10 divisions directly with scale then it is ok Let, let's say a to 0 is 2 centimeter now we have to divide 2 centimeter into 10 parts then we can take 2 to mm each part but 2.5 centimeter means 25 mm we cannot take 25 with uh, division of 25 with scale so that is why you have to follow this method take any acute angle from this point a any value any length now we want 10 parts here rather than making 10 parts of a to 0 I will make 10 parts of this acute angle how to do you can use the scale same put it on the acute angle mark the 10 divisions you can you can mark 5 5 mm done now we have to give the numbering to this so i will give numbering with the dashes I will not repeat same 1, 2, 3 because that is the main division. So here are the 10 divisions. Right now, after that, you have to join this 0 line with the 10th division wherever it is coming. It may come on this side or this side, it depends how what is the size you have taken for these divisions. Now, join 10 with 0, and then after that, just uh, with practice or try to make an accurate parallel line parallel to this a to 10 a 0 to 10 try to draw the parallel line of this
right now after that what to do you have to raise the perpendicular you get 10 divisions on this a20 line now you have to raise alternate perpendicular first half then full so what to do you have to take first half perpendicular up to 1 centimeter then up to full centimeter do not vary the darkness of line try to take the same darkness throughout your scale and these lines should be thin line light line because these are the construction lines our answer will be the value which they have given us to show that we will make with the dark line otherwise the light so this is your scale here the bigger divisions are telling you the kilometers smaller divisions are telling you the hectometers now we will see which value we have to show but before that uh, i should name the units so these divisions are hectometers so here we will write in the same letter writing format hectometers these divisions and here we are getting the kilometers so you can write kilometers to use the same letter writing shape what we learn in the first chapter so this is kilometers now what to do we have to show the distance uh, the three values we have to show if you remember what are those three values first is 2.7 kilometer 3.9 and 4.4 uh, kilometer 5 hectometer we will start with the smaller value that is 2.7 now how to take big value 2 small value 0.7 so we will use the same we will always start from zero so that is why i was taking it as zero and this a because we always start value counting the value from zero so this is 2.7 so bigger value on this side of zero smaller value on this side of zero because on this side of zero there is hectometer and on this side of zero there is kilometer so 2.7 kilometer means 2 kilometer 0.7 kilometer so we can break it in this way or we can say 2 kilometers 7 hectometers so this is 0 1 2 so from this 0 to this 2 it is 2 kilometer and then 7 hectometer means we will take step then count do not count this 0 when you take step then count so this is 0 then 1 2 3 4 5 6 then 7 so this is the point from this point to this the length is 2.7 now what to do in plane scale you have to darken you have to darken the raise the perpendicular up to full length this one and same here raise the perpendicular up to full length and make it dark so this is the required distance now we will do the dimensioning you know the rules of dimensioning from this point outside take a gap of 2 mm and extension line same here take a gap of 2 mm and extension line then between this object line and dimension line 10 mm gap so you have to take exactly 10 mm between the dimension line and object line 10 mm gap now draw the arrowheads very thin arrowhead more in length less in width try to draw very thin arrowheads like this now this is the value 2.7 kilometers so above that you use the same format of letters 2.7 kilometers Now we have to go for the third, second value that is 3.9 kilometer. Now how to show 3.9 from this 0. 3.9 means 3 kilometer 9 hectometer. So 3 kilometer on this side, 9 hectometer on that side. So 3, zero, 3 kilometer. 1, 2, 3. So up to this point, to this point. This is 3, then 9. So count the steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and the 9. So from this point to that one, that is 3.9. So we again, we will make it dark up to full length make it dark it, it must be thin line and dark line do not make thick line so this will be again exact dimension 2 mm gap between extension line and dimension uh, object line now in between 10 mm again after that 10 mm between two dimension lines so again you will take a gap of 10 mm and draw this dimension line and then arrow edge
this extension end it should not cross the dimension end if it is crossing just erase that right now this value is 3.9 so we write the value in the same format how it is given in the question so this is 3.9 kilometers so i will write same 3.9 kilometer here now the third value is 4 kilometer 5 hectometer as given in the question so 4 kilometer 5 hectometer how can we do that from this 0 1 2 3 4 so up to this this is 4 kilometer then 5 hectometer so count these steps 1 2 3 4 5 so this is the point now just make it dark up to full length same here 4 make it dark up to full length right after that you have to raise and you have to do the dimensioning now this extension line it will cross the dimension lines so i have told you extension line can cross any line and then from here also take 2 mm gap now after this again 10 mm gap between 2 dimension lines and then arrow heads so this is the value that is in the format of this so we will write the value in the same format 4 kilometers 5 hectometers now after that we will do one more thing we will represent the length of scale now what to do in that thing from this A take 2 mm gap and draw this line and up to 5 this is the length of scale so take 2 mm gap and draw this line and then we do the dimension outside of the scale write this and then draw the arrow heads and here also the arrow heads then this is what total length of scale so we will write above this as dimensioning so this is LOS here the LOS is 15 cm so we write the same 15 cm here we can write RF also inside this blank space so we know what is the RF, RF is equal to 1 ratio 40,000 and the scale type is plane scale so below the complete diagram you can write in the same letter format you know the shape of letters so this is what the solution of a plane scale so in every question you have to follow the same steps